Now let's move on to the next article we have from MSNBC. So we have the speaker Pelosi says that she's heartbroken and traumatized in letter to colleagues about husband's attack. So speaker Nancy Pelosi released a dear colleague letter on the life-threatening attack on her husband, Paul Pelosi. In the letter, Pelosi said her, her and her family heartbroken and traumatized about the attack and her husband's condition continues to improve thanks to life-saving medical care he's receiving. Yes, it is. And see, this is the thing now. This is the thing. Why are we not going to pay attention to exactly who did this? Why are we not going to pay attention? Now, the mainstream media says that it's a right-wing QAnon supporter that did this. No, it's not. The person actually was living outside of a yellow school bus, which the vice president said, oh my God, I love the yellow school bus. Look it up. So we have Kamala Harris saying that she loves yellow school buses. The guy lived in a yellow school bus, literally turned into a camper. That's where he used to live. And then he had LGBTQ and BLM flags outside. You really think that he's on the right? No, he's a leftist supporting all the leftist ideologies. But just because of the fact that he did something wrong, nope, he can't, he can't be a leftist. No, he has to be a racist white Donald Trump supporter. No, that's just stupid. No, we can call it how it is. It This thing that killed Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, should be arrested and we should say exactly what it is. This is the thing. If we're going to say here and say there is a problem, then we need to c commit to the fact that there is a problem. We can't sit here and say, oh yeah, um, this is a no, exactly. And there's other things on this too, saying that he's a um he's an illegal immigrant and blah blah. Listen, it doesn't matter who he is. If he committed a law, okay, and even if he is here illegally, he should be even char he should be charged even more. That's just even more disappointing. So neglecting that small thing that I did see now, I never fact checked this, so I don't know if it's true or not. If he's illegal, it looks like he was living in the United States, but I don't know if he was legal. Um, the thing is that why are we not going to call it how it is? If people are attacking people, these elites in their houses, why can we not call it a violent attack? Why can we not say that violent attacks are up? Because the Democrats don't look good in Democrat-run cities. If it's not good for your political gain, you don't want to talk about it? No, we should talk about it regardless because you're here for the people, by the people. This is exactly what you need to realize. You're not here just for you. You're here for us, the people that pay your bills on an every single day basis. That's the people that you're serving. And this is the exact people that you need to answer to. And this is the exact people People that you cannot lie to their face about a situation that happened. If a situation unfolded with a, a person on the right, don't make it all political. Say, okay, yeah, this person did support this, but did Trump ever call for the attack on Nancy Pelosi? No. Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats did literally during 2020 run propaganda campaigns to hurt Republicans. Yes. Rand Paul actually had his neighbor break into his house to break six of his ribs. Like, are we are we not going to talk about that? Are we not going to talk about the blatant one-sided narrative that the media has on us, the people? Are we not going to talk about the fact that they won't talk about these right-wing like right wing situations just because it does not do any good for them? Just because it doesn't do any good for you doesn't mean you shouldn't cover it. There's things that I cover on, the, on my show that I don't necessarily agree with, but I still cover it because I want to see all sides of the story. But the mainstream media does not. They do not want to hear it. They do not want to have the patience for it. They don't care at all. No, they're just going to blatantly ban you. That's exactly why they're so mad at Elon Musk for taking over Twitter because they can't just ban you anymore. They have to listen to you and then explain why they don't want to have your opinion on the platform. That's exactly why they don't like Elon Musk taking it over. Hey, 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 were you really going to click off this video before leaving a like and subscribing down below? Wow, so rude.